All right, so we left New York City and on our way to Connecticut, we decided to stop over at Hidden Pastures um, Fiber Farm. I was really curious what a fiber farm was all about. And uh, as you can see from behind me, there's a lot of places to collect fibers here. And uh, this is Mike, he's the owner of the farm. And uh, I think he's gonna tell you a little bit about the operation. Yes, so uh, my wife Natalie and I bought this farm about 15 or 16 years ago. Um, we start, we showed horses for years and then we bought this farm. We uh, had to do something for farm assessed taxes. So uh, she always worked for fiber. So uh, we start with the apacas and then uh, came the goats and then uh, the sheep and then yaks. So uh, yeah, so uh, here we have about, our part of females are out here, about 40 animals here. Um, and these are all the females. These are all the females. Yes. Keep the keep yes. the the males on the other side over there. Yes, a, out, of, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't want willy nilly breedings and have a bunch of you know babies born the wrong time of year. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, it is. So uh, yeah, so this is the females, and uh, they're all full full fleece right now because they've been grown since like last spring. Uh, we'll actually we'll be shearing them uh, uh, May fifteenth. So and then, and then, ago. and then, when you shear them, you, you take that material, and uh, some of it gets some of it gets made into products that you sell in the shop here, yes. and then others, other parts of that material go off to, to mills that yes. refine the product and make it into yep. other other goods, yes, right? Yes, and we belong to a, a fiber co-op, a New England Fiber Pool, actually, uh, where we'll send part of our clip there, and then in turn we could buy uh, you know socks and hats. Oh, you know, that's wholesale. So that's that's really good. It's like yeah. a full circle. Yes, because obviously yeah. you don't have a full uh, fiber processing mill here on the property. Uh, not like a commercial grade, but uh, you know, yeah. my wife can make. You know, she can turn this fiber here off this animal into a finished product. You know, oh. on the farm, but it's it's small scale though. Yeah, yeah, it's more, yeah not big production. No, it's stuff. mostly done by hand. So it's. Uh, and then you were yeah. telling me that the the alpacas they get they get sheared. Yes. The yaks. Uh, I don't know if you can see them way off in the distance there. There's yaks over there. They actually have to brush the yes, fur you brush, out. Yes, you brush them out, yes. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's just soft down the undercoat. The undercoat. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's like what your dog sheds out in the spring if you have one of those, that type of dog. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and what are what are the other animals? I mean, you got you got um, a lot of animals okay, here. Okay, we have uh, two kinds of goats. They're right in front of us here. You can't see on the camera. Uh, we have Angora goats. That's where mohair comes from. And then we have uh, cashmere goats. Ooh, so, cashmere sounds fancy. Yes, yes, and a lot of people don't <laughs> realize that cashmere comes from a goat. But yeah, it does. Yep. Yes, it does. And there's some cashmere goats here. Yep. And then we uh, have a uh, five teeswater sheep. Um, they're that's mostly for like uh, for people that uh, hand spin. Hand spin. That's the yeah, you know spinners. Yeah. Uh, that's what our fleece goes to. And then um, I see a donkey. Yeah, he's just a pet. Uh, yeah, he's, pet he's, not a, he's not a fiber animal. And no. again, on this farm, my favorite, it's Butterball, the turkey. Yes. She, yeah. she, she. Look, look at you. I mean, let me, let me take this down for a minute here. This is Butterball. Uh, I got a better video of Butterball I'll share with you. Uh, but yeah. super friendly turkey. Yeah. Uh, I, saw, I saw geese on the property. Yeah, we have ducks and geese for eggs and chickens. And, yes. th and this property is what, 24 acres, you said? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they also do allow uh, boondocking. It's another harvest host location. We're really enjoying these harvest host locations. Up on the hill over there, they have a house you can rent on Airbnb. So if you need to get out of the city and you need to go somewhere really cool, this is the place to do it. Thanks so much, Mike. You're welcome. Thank really you. appreciate you no letting us stay Thanks. here. And uh, no I'll take you guys out. on a tour of the place like always. And we'll take a look at the shop too while we're here. So come along. So this is Mary. Hi. <laughs> and this is Mike. 
And these are the products they sell here at Hidden Pastures. Yeah, we're, and you're right in front of, this is uh, what I call the wall of socks. So we sell more socks than anything else because, you know, people who doesn't love alpaca socks? Look. The, I have mine on too. I have um, mine on. I, and I wear them all year round because alpaca is a fiber that, that wicks moisture. Hmm. So even in the summer, it's going to help pull moisture away from your foot. So hikers love them, anybody, uh, construction workers, anybody's wearing boots all day long. So the wall of socks. The wall of socks. And there's other uh, other products, you know, you, they got gloves. Yeah. They got uh, hats. This is not an alpaca hat, obviously. No, no. They do have these. That's all right. We, you know, we, we, not everybody has to wear an alpaca hat. Yes. Yeah, so we, hats, gloves, scarves. Oh, we have plush animals. We have purses. Um, we have all kinds of stuff. A little bit of everything here. Yeah. So this is the way you dye the fiber. Obviously we have purple. This one's orange. And orange. Mm-hmm. And what fiber is that in there? This is alpaca. Alpaca. Mm-hmm. I'm getting Colorful. ready. I have made um, rainbow bats and they sell very well because everybody loves rainbows. And this time we're making neon rainbow bats. Oh, nice. So we'll see how these ones turn out. And we're involved in an online um, fiber arts group. So it's like a QVC. You have one half hour um, once a month and you try to sell as much as you can. So our theme in May is May the Fiber Be With You. <laughs> so now we're actually doing, um, I think it's Rainbow from the Dark Side is what I'm working on. These ones are going to be, there's going to be a little bit of black. I love my Star and, Wars references. I, and it, we're coming up with everything. People were pulling up pictures of like what are the planets in the Star Wars universe? So, oh, let's make, let's dye fiber or yarn that looks like Alderaan. Of course, my first question was, well, is that pre or post explosion? <laughs> <laughs> you could do both. <laughs> so, it, this one's going to be a fun uh, theme this month. May the fiber be with you. So, nice. yep, we do use turkey roasters. I think Natalie has eight or nine of them all together. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you don't want to turn them all on at once because your um, electric would probably not yeah. <laughs> be happy. But we have that possibility if we want to. So Remember that? Yeah, this is what the left. Yeah. dyeing process turns into bags of fiber that uh, people that know how to craft this stuff into right. actual materials can use. Right. So those are bats and those can be used by somebody who wants to spin their own yarn or for people who like to felt, um, make little felt creatures or whatever. But those are my rainbow bats. And now I'm making neon rainbow bats. And then the, also these are what the, the yarn, the hand. Yeah, all of yarn. this yarn is, is made from animals on the farm. So yak, angora bunnies, angora goats, cashmere goats, sheep, what else? <laughs> oh, new one? Oh, oh, they go for it, huh? Now this big girl coming over right now, that's Electra. She's actually a llama. A llama. But she'll eat out of your hand too. Oh, she will. Huh, Electra? Hey, girl. Oh. <laughs> I fed this one, that one. 